Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in the previous lecture, we had covered uh, the solution of differential equation, first order differential equation, by uh, the solution of two forms of the first order differential equation. The first form was uh, a variable separable form, and the second was a homogeneous differential equation. Now, when we are talking about the homogeneous differential equation, just recall the uh, identification of the homo homogeneous differential equation that. Uh, an equation must be written in a fraction form, fractional form uh, that is uh, numerator divided by denominator this was the previous lecture uh, numerator divided by denominator this was the first condition of being a homogeneous form of differential equation the second form uh, and, and the second condition is that this numerator and denominator does only contain the polynomials it does not contain any exponential logarithmic, trigonometric or inverse trigonometric identity or inverse identity. Uh, the third condition of the uh, homogeneous form of differential equation was okay, if we substitute x by xt and y by yt, uh, so uh, after that substitution the power of t must be same, must be unique, must be identical and the power of t must be same for that uh, differential equation and then uh, the method of solution was we have to substitute y equal to vx and then dy by dx equal to v plus x dv by dx this was the previous lecture that is discussing the homogeneous differential equation now today we are saying that we have to discuss uh, non-homogeneous differential equation non-homogeneous form of differential equation remember that it's not a type of a differential equation we are just discussing about the form of the differential equation non-homogeneous non form of differential equation first order differential equation or we can also say that okay, we want to discuss the equation equations of course these, these are the differential equations uh, that are reducible to homogeneous form now first of all uh, Remember that the identification of this uh, non-homogeneous or the, the equation that can be reduced, reduced to homogeneous form are same as that of the equation, the identification of the equation is okay, the equation must be written in a fraction form dy by dx if, if you have a dependent variable y and independent variable x then it can be written in the fraction form that is uh, numerator divided by some denominator. The second condition of this uh, is numerator and denominator must be polynomial only. The third condition is when you substitute x by xt and y by yt in the above in the given differential equation then power of t is not identical in each and every term power of t is not identical in each and every term this is the basic basically uh, the identification of the non homogeneous differential equation uh, homogeneous differential equation may but simple ye hota hai ki yehi tino condition hoti hai lekin after the substitution of these x by xt and y by yt the power of t is identical and in non homogeneous or the equation that are reducible to homogeneous form uh, is basically that the power of t will not be same in each and every term now the part d that can be say ki this is the method of solution for transforming um, non-homogeneous for transforming non-homogeneous to homogeneous form we are discussing about the method of solution or uh, the method uh, by which we can transform the non-homogeneous differential equation non-homogeneous first order differential equation to a homogeneous form uh, the method is we have to substitute x by xt capital x plus t and or, or or any other variable let's suppose it's h and similarly y by capital y plus k 
after this substitution we know that whenever we introduce a new variable we have to differentiate it uh, uh, at least by one time so the derivative of this uh, with respect to x will be same as that dx divided by d small x or you will have the result as dx will be equal to d capital x similarly um, this lead to a result of dy will be equal to d capital y so there is no uh, transformation like in a homogeneous form that dy by dx is equals to v plus x dv by dx here is just a transformation of that cap d capital x is will be equal to d small x and d capital y will be equal to d small y after this uh, substitution of these tra this transformation the equation will be reduced to homogeneous form and uh, the step of the reduction will uh, take part in it as we, we we have to substitute this x by x plus h and y by y plus k the second thing is we have to separate the terms that are involving only arbitrary constants and constant and after that separation uh, and equate to zero after that separation we have to uh, take this these arbitrary constant and constant the expression of these arbitrary constant and constant to zero from the numerator and of course from the denominator uh, we know that k from the numerator and denominator we get two uh, equation that are linear that may be a linear equation or something else uh, after that 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 are linear equation we have to solve these system of linear equation for evaluating the value of a h and k so that your equation will be uh, reducible to homogeneous form this is basically the method of uh, converting a non homogeneous form of differential equation to a homogeneous form now let's start with an example let's suppose that you have uh, dy divided by dx equals to x plus 2y minus 3 divided by 2x plus y minus 5 so you can see here that the first condition uh, for being a non-homogeneous differential equation is that the equation must be written in a uh, fraction form that is uh, we have an equation in a numerator divided by denominator form and these numerator and denominator are polynomials here the second condition is also satisfied here the third condition is when you substitute x by xt and y by yt in all in each and every term uh, you know that uh, this term contained the power of t as one the first power one power of t t power one or this term contained uh, t power one also but this con term contained t power zero that means uh, the the condition is that okay, the power of t is not identical in each and every term whether it's uh, in a numerator or in a denominator we can say uh, if uh, here minus three and minus five not appears let's suppose ke agar equation is form mein ho hamare paas ke minus 3 minus 5 agar na ho to this equation ke is basically a homogeneous differential equation lekin kyunki ye minus 3 aur minus 5 yahan par maujood hain so so that when you sub, when we substitute x by xt and y by yt the power of t is not same in each and every term now we have to apply the method of solution for transforming this non homogeneous differential equation to a homogeneous form we can declare this is a home, non homogeneous differential equation or non homogeneous form of a differential equation okay let's start the solution of this uh, non homogeneous differential equation uh, we have an equation as dy by dx equals to x plus 2y minus 3 whole divided by 2x plus y minus 5 for transformation we have to substitute let x is equals to capital x plus h and small y will be equal to capital y plus k now when you tra uh, when you substitute these values and we know that dx is equals to d capital x and dy will be equal to d capital y uh, so our equation can be written in this form as d capital y divided by d capital x is equals to x plus h plus two times y plus k minus 3 whole divided by 2 into x plus h plus y plus k 
minus 5 so we can rearrange this equation as uh, x plus 2y uh, 2 multiplies with this bracket lead to the result of 2y plus 2k so you'll have uh, x plus 2y plus h from this term and plus 2k from this minus 3 whole divided by 2x plus y plus 2h plus k minus 5 dy by dx now we can see here k we have we had separated the term that are involving constant and arbitrary constant we have to equate these two expression uh, by let's suppose by 0 we have to equate these two expression by 0 so that we can solve these equation for evaluating the value of h and k so we have h plus 2k minus 3 equal to 0 and 2h plus k minus 5 equals to 0 now we have to solve this equation by any other any of the method you can use here a Cramer rule a joint method or any other method uh, like uh, substitution method for the sake of our simplification uh, we can say if I just multiply equation number 2 by 2 so it will lead to the result of 4h plus 2k minus 10 equal to 0 this is the result of equation number 2 multiplied by 2 and we have the equation number 1 as h plus 2k minus 3 equals to 0 now if we subtract these two equations we'll have a result of 3h minus 7 equals to 0 or you will have h will be equal to 7 divided by 3 similarly if you substitute this the value of h in any of the equation let's suppose I am substituting this uh, value of h let's substitute value of h in equation number 1 so you will have 7 divided by 3 plus 2k minus 3 equal to 0 or uh, this lead to the result of the value of k as uh, 3 minus 7 divided by 3 I'm just evaluating the value here so the value of k will be uh, simply 1 divided by 3 so you have this value of k and h for which this equation uh, is becomes homogeneous now this equation can be written in this form as it implies that d capital y divided by d capital x equal to x plus 2y divided by 2x plus y so uh, this equation is now a homogeneous differential equation this is homogeneous form of differential equation now the method of solution for the homogeneous differential equation will be applies as uh, the capital Y for homogeneous we have to transform the homogeneous differential equation to a variable separable form as capital Y will be equal to V into capital X remember that a common mistakes appears uh, by the student uh, here as uh, you just substitute small y equal to Vx again you know that the equation is not in a small and a small uh, letters as a small y and a small x you have here as capital Y and capital X in whole of the equation you had transformed the, the uh, given equation to a uh, to the given equation that is non-homogeneous to a homogeneous form but with a different variable as capital X and capital Y so uh, again you have capital Y equal to Vx here when you, and of course um, by this result dy by dx will be equal to v plus x d v by dx so when we substitute these two results in our equation your equation will uh, becomes as v plus x dv by dx equals to x plus 2vx divided by 2x plus vx for which you can take x as a common from the right hand side you will have 1 plus 2 v divided by from the denominator if I take we are taking x as a common you will have 2 plus v this x will, will cancel out lead to the result as uh, 
x dv by dx equal to 1 plus 2v divided by 2 plus v minus v so I'm just uh, simplifying this expression as taking 2 plus v as an LCM 1 plus 2v minus v into 2 plus v lead to the result of 1 plus 2v minus 2v minus v square divided by 2 plus v this term is also cancelled here uh, so you'll have a variable separable form as if we just substitute if we just transform 2 plus v here um, shift 2 plus v here and 1 minus v square in the denominator you will have 2 plus v divided by 1 minus v square dv equal to 1 divided by x dx so we can directly say this is a variable separable form now uh, i can say it's your target to complete the question as uh, you just have to integrate on both sides to find the result of this uh, expression uh, but uh, just pause the uh, video here and solve by yourself and then check whether your answer is same as that of my answer or not uh, on the left on the right hand side the integration is simple uh, ln x will be the answer but on the left hand side you will have to apply the partial fraction so uh, in some another lecture uh, मैं पार्शल फ्रैक्शन की भी वर्किंग यहाँ पर शो कर दूँगा कुछ कुछ इंटीग्रेशन के लेक्चर्स भी कोशिश करूँगा कि मैं अपलोड कर दूँ सो दैट यू कैन सॉल्व द इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स एंड इंटीग्रेशन बाय यूजिंग द पार्शल फ्रैक्शन मेथड बाय डिकम्पोजिशन बाय डिकम्पोजिंग द एक्सप्रेशन इन अ पार्शल फ्रैक्शन तो हम ये दो एक या दो लेक्चर में मैं जो इन ये अपलोड कर दूंगा सो so, आप ये देख लीजिएगा बट राइट नाउ आई एम सेइंग इट्स योर टारगेट टू कंप्लीट दिस क्वेश्चन एंड जस्ट पॉज द इक्वेशन बस जस्ट पॉज द वीडियो हेयर एंड देन सॉल्व बाय योर सेल्फ एंड देन चेक द आंसर मैं इसका आंसर फौरन ही कुछ सेकंड के बाद जो है वो यहाँ आपके पास शो कर दूँगा लेकिन आपका काम यह है कि आप खुद से सॉल्व करें और जस्ट चेक कर लें कि आपका आंसर भी वही आ रहा है या नहीं आ रहा